In today's tutorial, I will show you how to log in, how to choose the calendar style that you would like to design specifically for your company or organization, and lastly, how to choose a template that is um, preloaded into our library already that you can use just by simply changing text font, text styles, te text color, images maybe, whatever it is that you would like to change to make that specific layout or color to meet your branding colors, your company theme, and your logos. So we would start by signing in. If you do not have an account, you would need to register. We do not sell email accounts. We do not see passwords. Your safety and privacy is an utmost importance to us as your supplier. I do have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Also, let me just say that in order to access the tool, you must create an account with us using an email and a, gener a, a password that you choose. But also, the primary focus of having an account is if you start to design a calendar and do not get it completed and ordered all in one sitting, we store that calendar in your account you can come back online, you can edit that calendar, and then you can check out it any time you choose. You do not have to do this all at one time. So I'm going to talk about contractor calendars today. Specifically, I'm going to design the EY12, but I do want to point out a couple of things beforehand. You'll notice that the EY12 is a three month calendar. It is our contractor calendar. However, the design area at the top is square. We also have other contractor styles. Here is another wall calendar with year to glance at the bottom. And you will notice that the design area is different from that of the EY12. However, although the space that you design is different as far as size. The concept is the same. So once you start designing a calendar, um, they all basically function the same for designing it. Um, here is another one, and you'll see that that one is even, um, it's, it's wider and not quite as tall as even the last calendar that I showed you. But regardless of the space, the concept of how you go about creating your design for your organization is the same regardless of the calendar style. So I'm going to click on the EY12. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to click Design It Online. And that will bring you to the templates that we have created on the back end for you to browse and to kind of get an idea of as to what you like or the message that you would like to send to your calendar um, customers or viewers that you're going to give your calendars to, the promotional statement that you would like to make. Maybe it's an image, maybe it's more text, maybe it's a service industry. Regardless, maybe you like this layout, but you can change um, blue doesn't fit your color scheme or your branding theme. You can change the background of that. Um, you can add photos. You can move the text. You can, there's just, you just have tons of options from here. So if there's a particular layout that you like, I suggest you start with that and then you can go in and move whatever it is that you want to move from place to place or whatever it is that makes sense in your design for your organization. So this is a bigger image, if you will, for instance, than is this. So maybe your statement lies more within the image and then 
you just want little pieces of information. Whereas here, maybe your statement or your tagline is better defines your organization than does an image. So you want to choose this. But at any rate, that is how you log in, how you access or discover the calendar that you would like to design, how you access the tool, and how you find the customized button as well, the templates from the templates. And I'll go ahead and show you by clicking on one of these. It will take you into the tool so that you know exactly what it is that you look like once you click in there. So this is the tool, and this is where you will land after you access that tool. In our next video, I will show you how to custom this um, design or another design, whichever we choose, um, using the tool itself. So be sure to check back for those videos.